Hi everyone, it's Robin Riley for Del Bello's Designs. Welcome to my Talk Crafty to Me video. Today I'm going to show you how to create backgrounds simply by using some inks and a paper towel. Let's take a quick peek at some that I created a while ago. Now I must give credit where credit is due. And I watched a woman on YouTube, her name, Natasha Foote, and she is the one that demoed this. And I thought it would be fun to show you how to do this. So thanks goes out to Natasha for showing me this technique. And as you can see, as I flip through, how each one is so different from one another. I used a smooth and sturdy heavyweight cardstock for these. And then I'll go over the other supplies to explain the process to you. There's no way in the world I can duplicate these, so we're gonna start from scratch and see where we end up. So before we get started, I wanna invite you all to join us in our Facebook groups. We have two Facebook groups. We have the Del Bellos Design Lounge, and that's where we showcase all of our Lavinia products. We also have a Del Bellos Design a cart page, and on that page, we showcase all of the other products that are in this shop. The other social media platforms that we are on, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. And if you hang out on those platforms and you want to look us up, just search hashtag Del Bellos Designs. So for the supplies today, I am going to be using the Lavinia Multifarious Smooth and Supreme card. This is the A5 set. For me, what is most important is the GSM. And the higher the GSM number, the more liquid the paper can hold without warping and falling apart. So for example, if you were using a card that was 100 GSM, it most definitely would not hold very much liquid. It would warp, it would peel, it would bend, and it would be really hard to get it to flatten out again. Lavinia has a really nice quality card to use liquids on, so I do highly recommend that. Watercolor card also would work with this technique, but understand watercolor card has texture to it. It's not smooth. So today we're going to be using this size. I'm going to demo three different ways to apply the ink to the actual card itself. So I am going to be starting with Distress Oxide Refillers. So this is just the bottles that you purchase to refill your ink pads. So I'll be using Weathered Wood, Sponge Sugar, and Scattered Straw. That's going to be the first card. So let's go over those supplies as I make the card itself. So here's a piece of the Multifarious card. Like I said, I'll use the Distress Oxides in Weathered Wood. We'll start with that one first. And I am going to use a paper towel that has a very unique pattern on it. Now I know when we go shopping from this point on, we are all going to look at the patterns on our paper towels and think, ooh, that might make a neat background. So all you do, simply lay this paper towel over your card. You can see the card through the paper towel. And what I'm going to do is just, let me move this off to the side a little bit. I'm going to just take a few drops of the reinker and place it on my mat. I can always add more if I need. Now this is the scattered straw. Make sure you give these a good shake before you squeeze out the ink. And the third color I'm using is spun sugar. Okay, I'm going to be using one of the Lavinia paintbrushes. This is the one half size, very nice quality brushes and keep in mind, you get what you pay for. 
especially when it comes to brushes. And believe me, I've tried the absolute cheapest brushes going. Okay, so I have a cup of water here off to the side and I'm going to just get my brush wet and then I'm going to just dip it into that weathered wood. I'm gonna start with that and I am randomly going to pounce the color over the paper towel, add a little water to help spread that a bit. I'm gonna clean that out and pick up my next color. Let me wipe this brush off. My next color is going to be that scattered straw. So I wanna get that nice and wet and spread it around. Now there's no rhyme or reason as to why I am placing the colors where I am. Now, I'm trying not to make mud. I definitely don't want to do that. All right, cleaning off my brush again, I'm going to pick up that sponge sugar and place that onto the paper towel. Again, randomly adding that ink to the top of the paper towel. Now I can see I have a lot of white, so I'm going to come back in and add just a little bit more of the scattered straw. Let me clean out my brush, pick up some of that. Now, the thing with this is we have to let this sit 24 hours and we're gonna allow this water to seep through and do its thing. Now, if you're impatient and you wanna use a heat tool and dry it, which I did the first go around when I did this because I was anxious to see the colors, you can, but for this purpose today, we're gonna to wait the full 24 hours and I'm gonna come back and show you this if we allow it to dry naturally. And from what I understand, the color will be better if we allow this to dry naturally. So I'm going to just set this to the side and we'll revisit that when it is dry. Let me clean off my surface. Now this go around, Again, using the multifarious card. What I wanna try is using the Distress watercolor pencils. These are really fun to play with if you like to watercolor. The particular set I'm using is set three, and I'm going to use the colors Tattered Rose, Tumbled Glass, and Seedless Preserves. Now to do this technique, you need to have a pencil sharpener, okay? And I'm going to very finely shave off some of the pencil onto the card. I'm going to do that with each of the three colors Okay, so as you can see, I have a fun little mess of shavings. Now for this technique, I'm gonna come in and use a spray bottle. Holding this down in place over the card, I'm going to spray the card. And as you saw, some of those pieces kind of blew away, which I was somewhat expecting. I'm gonna get this nice and wet, and I'm, then I'm gonna come back in and apply one more layer of these. Again, that is the Tattered Rose, then the Tumbled Glass, and then the Seedless Preserves. Now that that is on there, maybe it won't blow as much this time around with the water. Plus I'll go at it a little slower. I really wanna get this wet because I want this to soak through 
onto this card. And to be honest, we're going to see how this goes. I've really applied a lot of water here. Now, something that you could do is right now take a second print. And I think as I'm saying that, we're going to do that while I have it nice and moist. I'm going to come in with another piece of the multifarious card. Add a little more water. And then apply this onto the top and give it a good rubbing. And let's see what happens. Carefully lifting. Okay, that's kind of neat looking. I think I'll add some water to that and let it move along on its own. So that we'll call this the ghost print. I will set both of these aside. I'm going to let those dry again for a 24 hour period and then we'll take a look at them. Now, the last technique I wanna show you, let me clean this off. Okay, again, using a piece of multifarious card and another paper towel. And again, these paper towels all have the same pattern. So that way, we can see which medium works the best through the towel. I'm going to use this time the Lavinia Acrylic Sprays. And we're gonna see how this works. Now I am going to, instead of spraying, I am going to just dab, up, take a couple drops out of each container. And keep in mind, this is not an ink. This is an acrylic spray. I'm also using the Yellow Sun. Get some of that onto my work surface. Now that's taking its good old time coming out. There we go. All right, and the third color that I'm going to use is the cranberry red. So the first time I tried this using the acrylic sprays, I got just a great big blob of a mess. Not that it was a mess, they were pretty, but I didn't get any patterning. And I think it's because I sprayed direct onto the paper towel. And since this is an acrylic, I think it's too heavy. So this time around, I am going to try applying this, applying this paint with a brush, a wet brush. And I'm just going to dab this again, randomly, all over the card. And we'll see how this works. Okay, I'm trying to use up every little bit that I have. And again, by just adding some water, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get this to spread. Okay, the next color, I'll use the yellow. Nice, vibrant colors these are. These are fun to create very bright backgrounds. So we'll see how this goes this time around. And now I'll add some of that emerald green which is more of a turquoise color to me. I think it's a very pretty color. We should get some good blending on these. Okay, let me get some more water. I wanna pick up that emerald, spread it around so I don't have as much white space. And we'll do a random piece up here. How's that? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is allow these 24 hours to dry and I'll get back to you and we'll reveal our experiment. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and it's time for the big reveal. I do have to preface this by saying that about a half hour after I let this dry on its own, I took a quick, a quick peek 
and I noticed that there was not a lot of ink transferring onto my paper. So I went ahead with the spray bottle and I applied another heavy coat of water to the paper towel and then I left it alone for the remaining time. So let's take a look. This is the first one I did, which was using the Distress Oxide Reinkers. I had used the Weatherwood, Spun Sugar, and Scattered Straw. So let's take a look. Now, if you are frugal, you could save this piece of paper towel and literally use this on a card or possibly a piece that you're working on. This would give a lot of great texture. If you're into using mixed media, these pieces would be perfect. So with that being said, let's take a peek. Okay, as you can see, very light coloring with this. You can pick up a little bit of the detail from the paper towel, some of that pattern that was there, but not a lot. Now remember, these are Distress Oxide reinkers. Those are always very light, chalky colors. But I could see the potential in this piece in creating a very unique background for a card. The next one that we did, this is the piece that I had used, the Distressed Watercolor Pencils. I shaved the pencils over the paper towel, spritzed it with water, and once again, I did, after a 30-minute period, go back and put a heavier coat of water over the paper towel. So let's see the results of this. As I expected, there would be a little more color that bled through. You can see a little more of the patterning of the paper towel itself. Now, the one color that really didn't come out a lot, which kind of surprised me, was the tumbled glass. It's very light. And as a reminder, I used tumbled glass, tattered rose, and seedless preserves. Did get a little bit of blending here in the center. All right, now let's look at, if you remember, I also took a ghost print. I just placed this paper on top of the paper towel when it was wet. And I did pick up a lot of color, but I also picked up a little bit of the pencil shavings itself. So when I rub my hand over this, I can actually feel the lumps and the bumps. And you could leave that there if you wanted. If not, you can literally go in and scrape those shavings off to have a smooth surface. So that was a two for one. And the last one I did, which, which was using the Lavinia acrylic sprays, and I used the emerald green, the sun yellow, and the cranberry red. This produced the most vibrant of all that we tried. You can still see the patterning of the paper towel, and I think that came out pretty good. I do caution you, if you are going to use the acrylic sprays, don't put down a heavy coat of the spray itself because what that will end up doing is just giving you big blobs of ink. You won't get any of the patterning. That's what I learned on my first go around with these. So let me show you once again all three of them. I think they all came out rather nice and I see potential for each of these for making some great cards, the backgrounds. So that's awesome. Before I let you go, I'm going to show you one that I did earlier. This is a card that I created, and I used the, the um, oh my goodness gracious, the acrylic sprays on this. I used several colors in the background, and I got a really good result with the print from that particular paper towel that I used. And I think we need to keep in mind, you know, that the, the temperature of the room where this is drying, possibly the humidity level, I think that would all come into play. Just a fun way to experiment, I think, to create some unique backgrounds. I hope you give this a try. And if you do so, please share in our groups. Make sure you tag me so that I can see what your creations look like. Do a real quick once over again with all these beautiful colors. 
most of all, like I always tell you, have a good time. Have fun with this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.